Jadon Sancho is still not a Manchester United player. And so many of you, myself included, we're angry. We're confused at what is still going on in this ridiculous transfer saga that seems no closer to ending. So what has happened over the weekend? Because there was so much excitement about new bids and then contrasting news about those bids not going in. It's hard to keep on top of. And that's what I do in these videos. I look at the full story. I identify exactly what has happened and when it has happened to try and clear up the confusion. Because I don't think it would be appropriate to do a live video. I think I just want to clear this Sancho situation up first. I haven't done one of these in a while. If you do enjoy them and you have missed them, please drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new and at the end of the video, if this video has helped you, make sure you subscribe. But let's take a look at the full story of what happened with Sancho to United over the weekend. Now, it was Sky Sports in England that got United fans excited when they released an article saying Jadon Sancho, Manchester United, have made an improved bid for the Borussia Dortmund forward. And they say that the bid went up from 67 million up front with add-ons and bonuses to 75 million up front with add-ons and bonuses. Now, we can all remember that throughout this whole story, 95 million euros has been the figure that's been labelled alongside Jadon Sancho that Borussia Dortmund want. But Sky out in Germany were also corroborating the story that United had gone in with an increased offer. And United fans got excited, understandably. We've been waiting for the second bid to go in properly. But as is always the case with Manchester United and certainly with Jadon Sancho, it's never that straightforward, is it? Because as soon, almost as soon as the excitement had began, following these reports from Sky Germany, you had contrasting reports coming from different sources. And the first one came from Jan Egerfjortoft, who obviously works out in Germany. You can decide whether he's reliable or not, but this is what he had to say. He said, Ari Sancho, unclear reports published today. This is what very reliable sources tell me. 10 days ago, Man United made that bid of 70 million euros, which is the initial one that we discussed. Dortmund told them it's 90 million plus add-ons or he will stay no new bid since then. So Yang completely going against what Sky Sports are reporting and what Sky Germany are reporting. And then Fabrizio Romano weighed in and he supported what Yang had to say. He said, I have not said anything about an official bid today. Talks about ongoing negotiations. They're not talking about a new bid. And then Christian Falk from Bill comes in and he supports Yang and Fabrizio. So on the one hand, you've got Sky Sports and Sky Germany both saying that a new bid has gone in, £75 million, pounds, higher than the £67 million that originally went in. And on the other hand, you've got Jan, you've got Fabrizio and Christian, all saying something completely different, basically saying that no new bid has gone in. And then to add more confusion on top of that, you've got Patrick Berger, who is considered a very reliable source out in Germany from Sport 1. And he double confused the situation because he originally tweeted saying, look, I've heard no news on a bid today, on a new bid from Sancho. And then later on, he said, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to correct my words. Dortmund have received a new bid from United. It's still not satisfactory for Dortmund. They think that United don't know how good Sancho really is. And at this point, I think there's one thing that we can, we can say with absolute certainty. And that's that different sources and different places that are saying completely different things. And by that, I'm not talking just about the journalists. I'm saying it depends whether these journalists speak to Dortmund directly or whether they speak to agents involved in a deal or whether they speak to Sancho's camp or United. Different people and different sources are saying different things to different journalists. And that is what is confusing it. And I don't know why that is the case because it might just be United trying to posture for a better deal. It might be Dortmund trying to squeeze more out of United. There's tactics going on left, right and centre here from both clubs and from both parties for one reason or another. And that is what is making it so confusing. But following on from what Patrick Berger said about United putting a new bid in, he went a bit further than that. He said, according to my information, the latest offer from United for Sancho was 85 million euros. Bonus and add-ons included. Dortmund want 90 plus add-ons. At that point, you think, well, that's not that much. Five million, but it all depends on how those add-ons are structured and what United are really offering Dortmund up front because they want as much up front as possible and add-ons that are realistically achievable and not the bad-on-door add-on that we've seen previously touted around. 
And at this point, it's it's who you want to believe and who you feel has got the strongest information. And for me, I'm probably going to be looking more towards what's coming out of the German press than United. Uh, I just feel that those closer to the club will be getting the best information. And Dortmund have, let's be honest, they've stayed pretty true to their word this entire time. They said they wanted 120 million last year. We didn't get it. Sancho didn't move. They said they want 95 million this year. They haven't got that offer. Sancho hasn't left. And as soon as that offer comes in, I'm still pretty confident that United can get it done. But there's a few things I want to say at this point. And the first thing I want to say is John Murto, United's new director of football, is yet to prove to me that he's bringing around any sort of substantial change. Because the Glazers, are, well, United in the transfer market are brilliant at sucking the life and enjoyment out of a transfer. Transfers are what you get excited about in the summer. You build on last season, you sign new players, you head into next season full of excitement, full of new possibilities because you've got new players to fix problems you had last year. And instead of United getting excited about these signings, United have United fans, sorry, we have to deal with this bullshit all summer long where it's just painful. Look, I understand that a club can't just simply go in and offer exactly what the selling club wants because then we would just get we would just get ripped apart in the transfer market. We always do anyway. But there has to come a middle ground. And this is why I said that the appointment, the appointment sorry, of John Murto could make a difference because if he could come in and, and get rid of that bullshit, get rid of it and say, look, there's more benefit to United spending a little bit more, getting the deal done nice and quickly than there is negotiating to try and squeeze as much money out of it. And at the moment, that hasn't happened yet. And I, at this point... So many of you are, uh, are saying that Sancho's not happening. I disagree. I think Sancho United, to United is happening this summer. But it just didn't need to be painful. It really didn't. The terms were already agreed last year. The terms were re-agreed this year without an issue. And it all comes down to that fee again. And I was hoping that Woodward leaving would take away that element of United in the transfer market. But we haven't seen that yet so far. We also haven't seen United even go after a central defensive midfielder. We haven't really seen United make any formal sort of bid for a centre-back. Although Manchester Evening News said that we bid £50 million for Varane. That's kind of been contrasting reports coming out about that as well. Sancho to United seemed easy this summer. After the pain of last year, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes in life. But making them twice, and making them twice for the same player in two different years, it's just bad. It's just poor from United. And that's what John Murta was supposed to come in and change. But the full story... From the last 72 hours on Sancho and United, it it all depends on where you look. But on Saturday night, it started with Sky Sports. It went in Sky Sports in Germany as well, both saying that £75 million bid, an increased bid from the £67 million the previous, what did two weeks ago, went in that got rejected. That £75 million still got rejected, but it's higher. Then you've got Jan Egerfjordtoft, you've got Christian Falcon, Fabrizio Romano, contrasting that and saying that no new bid's gone in. And then you've got Patrick Berger from Sport 1 in Germany. He's saying no bid's gone in. And then he's changing his mind and saying the bid has gone in. So even inside Germany, normally you get different stories coming out of Germany and different stories coming out of England. But it seems just so confused and muddled right now that there's different stories coming from inside Germany from both directions. And United, it, it, it's a mad puzzle for something which seems so damn relatively straightforward. What I want to do this week is I'm going to try and speak to Jürgen Kurz from Ruhr Nacklichten, who I consider the most reliable Dortmund local newspaper. Because I want to ask Jürgen, really, what is the word coming out of Dortmund? Because we're seeing so many contrasting stories. What is the truth? Please help us try and understand. But that is the full story of what's happened with Sancho to United in the last 48 hours. At this point, it doesn't seem any closer to being completed. That bid's gone in, but the ultimate... Reality is very simple. It's 95 million. Just like last summer it was 120. This summer it's 95. Why waste your goddamn time? Just pay what they want. Get that add-ons, get the upfront agreed. Get it boxed off because it's not even the most important signing we need to make this summer. That's a defensive midfielder. We spend this long doing this with Sancho. What are we going to do when we try and sign a defensive midfielder and a centre-back? I don't know. 
But let me know what you think about Sancho to United. Are you still confident or am I wrong to still be confident about it? When do you think it will happen? Are you confused that Sancho's not playing at all at the Euros? Do you think this is part of it? You let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And I hope this video did help you understand what happened over the weekend because I'll be honest, it's confusing, it's boring, it's tiring. We all want to see Sancho in a United shirt, but at this moment in time, it's not happened. But United just need to pull it out and get this done, please.